smells good. Mm. Hi everybody. Uh, let me start out with my yogurt. Just a quick one. We're gonna have a little bit of a quick chat. Um, <laughs> I haven't filmed the vlog in a really, really long time, and it is because of a number of couple of things. Um, I was away from YouTube for about a week. In real life, it isn't that long. In YouTube land, it's long, especially when I upload like twice a week. Um, so a couple of things unfolded and I felt like I needed a moment to figure myself and figure my shit out. Okay, so I was away trying to work on all of that. Um, so essentially a whole lot of stuff happened. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> Should I bring you closer? I think I should. Because then now you're seeing all, all the jams and all the things. And So, basically, I was away for some time because I had a week where everything crumbled. Everything that I was trying to do did not work out. Everything that I work was on my ass. Um, I just, nothing was working out that week. Um, I was frustrated emotionally. I was in a horrible place. I was just not okay. And I felt I needed a moment, but I, I, I can say I need a moment, but I really enjoy filming and I really do enjoy, uh, editing. So for me, that's a little bit of therapy and I really, really enjoy doing things like that. So I didn't mind taking a moment, but also doing my other things on the side, but nothing came together nothing came together for her story nothing came together for you know uh my laptop started packing out as i was trying to edit it would switch on switch off uh my laptop was i think around six years old um so i knew i knew that at some point this baby's going to pack up on me i knew at some point that it's going to happen but i didn't think i mean i didn't think 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 it I didn't thank it. Um, so that week, everything kind of fell apart. And I was really, really upset. I was really, really, really just, I felt like I had the wind knocked out of me. And things became worse when my laptop officially died. <laughs> and on my laptop, I use for everything else. I mean, I've got a work laptop, which is not a, a MacBook. But my MacBook, I use for everything else. My Final Cut Pro is on there so I can edit videos. Everything. I feel like, let me point you this way a little bit and see if that works. Nice, hey? Much better, much brighter. So, I use my laptop for everything. I feel like my Final Cut Pro is on there. My Her Story stuff is on there. My, is a little thing that I'm working on podcasting wise with Her Story. That is on there. Everything. And my laptop died. And only to find what I had saved. I mean, I had backed up everything, but I backed up mostly documents and pictures and music. That's the only things that I had backed up. But certain things I had lost. And my previous videos I always put on a hard drive. I've got a one, is a terabyte or something? A, a, a rather big hard drive where I put most of my videos and all of that previous videos. But I, I lost quite a lot of stuff when my laptop decided to die. And then that was an added stress. Now, I can't, I'm recording videos, but I can't really edit them because, duh, laptop. And my other laptop, my work laptop, I cannot use for this kind of stuff. Not only that, it's not a MacBook, it's a Dell. So, it's totally different soft software systems and all of that, programs and all of that. So, I was just like, okay, now I'm in trouble now. Man, I knew, I knew I was in trouble. So, yeah, um, so that happened. And then I had a wave that just went over me that just said, be still, just let it happen. Um, because immediately when things start falling apart for me, I go into overdrive mode, I panic, I start worrying, I start thinking, what am I going to do? How am I going to figure this out? Blah, blah, blah. And something just 
said to me, I'm pretty sure it was God talking to me, just said, let it happen. Just sit. Don't do anything. Just, yeah. But I, I really was going through all of it. And um, <laughs> it was a really hard week. It was a really hard week. Now that I think about it, it kind of makes me a little bit emotional because I don't like to, my hair is a tip. I don't like to not be in control. And everything that happened that week was just me having lost all sense of control. And I was really, really upset about it. Uh, even thinking about it now, it's just like, so I had to relinquish control. I had to let God take over at this point. So I would literally just come back from work. Um, typically what I would do is switch off from my work work and then, uh, um, then sit down with my MacBook and edit and do this and do this. I couldn't do any of that because my laptop was gone. Now this is me trying to figure out, okay, I need a new laptop, right? Good sis got a new laptop. I'll show you all of that a little bit later on. But, um, in that time, all I could do was just go to work come home, go to the gym, come home. And that's what forced me to dive straight into the gym. I literally went to the gym like four or five times a week because I had pent up rage and anger. And there was a point where I was just pity partying myself so much where I was just like, why is this happening to me? And I just, I just, I, yeah, I just pity partied myself quite a bit. I felt like, why? I try so hard with everything. I try so hard. I pitied myself, even with my channel. I'm like, I work so hard for my channel. My subscriber count is not where I want it to be. I want to, at least by the time my birthday hits, which is in June, I want to be on 20,000 subscribers. I was really, really upset because I felt like I put in so much work into my channel and it's just not, it's just, it's just not giving me the results that I want. But anyway, that's, that's, that's all on me. So I dived into the gym. I figured it out. Eventually got a new laptop, which was great. And uh, now we're back online. So here we are. Um, it feels good to be back, but it also feels a little bit awkward in terms of the vlogging because I was just filming sit down videos. So it just feels a little bit awkward to be moving my camera around and all of that. It just feels weird. And me trying to do the aesthetic posts and all of that, it just feels weird. And everything had gone to shit. Like even my Instagram, I felt like, what is going on? I wasn't taking product shots. I wasn't taking, I wasn't. I didn't want to meet up with uh, my photographer for a shoot and all of that. I didn't want to do jack squat. Nothing. So I allowed that to happen. What I did do, what I did do was read a lot because I had a lot of free time on my hands. So what I did do was read. So we're going to get into that. Um, mm, this is a cup of um, Inspirazione Venezia. This is one of my favorite ones. It's not too intense, but it's not too light. I think it's an intensity seven. This is an espresso pod. And uh, it's, it's cool. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. For breakfast as, oops. For breakfast, as you can see, I kept it really clean. I'm not in the mood to, I'm going to be going out later to spend some time with my cousin and his family. And I might not come back. I might actually sleep over that side. So here we are right now. I don't even know what time it is. Okay, I still got some, some time. So you've got a little bit of a hole. And then I just, I'm, 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 I'm such a mess. I'm such a mess. Do you know these people? Yes, I know these people. This game. It's basically a, I walked in there to get things that I'm short of. And I kind of felt like, let me show you. Why not? It's not food. Even those okays are basically. And of course, my ACV is running out. So I managed to pick up the original size. I don't like that big size. It's quite clunky and all of that. I really don't like it. So, yeah. Um, so from this game, 
I picked up things to wash with washing goodies. I love this. This is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite um, shower gels. This is the carrying shower cream from Nivea. It's my favorite one. And then when I want like a fresh morning where I need my senses heightened and all of that, I really, really love this one. I like, I like, I like this one for nighttime. And I really, really like this one for the morning time. This is, it's nice. It's fresh. This is Love Splash. Fresh, pure, sea minerals and an aquatic sense, right? Aquatic, aquatic. I say aquatic. I don't know. But yeah, like when you say nautical and you don't say nautical right i don't know what are you talking to me and then i'm i'm really a big fan of nivea and i feel like if you've been following my channel or my instagram for a while you'll know this um so for body lotion i picked up so i picked up this one because we are going into the winter months so you want something that's really deep and nourishing and enriching but also i picked up this one which is an oil and lotion also from nivea i, I don't know uh cherry blossom in jojoba oil i picked this one up because it smells absolutely delicious love it love it love it and then i popped into I lure. <laughs> no, hang on, I'll be back. I didn't pop into. Where is my phone? So I didn't pop into I lure, and then I walked over in Discam, walked over to the eyelash section, and I really, really, my favorite um, lashes from I lure are the one for ones. They are beautiful, beautiful. They're my favorite ones. Those are sort of like. They've shifted to my everyday ones. But when I do go out, there's this range, which is the, what? Lux, Lux 3D range. And it's got, I think, four different types of eyelashes. And I really, really like these ones because they're a little bit more dramatic. Uh, and these are faux mink lashes. Um, so I picked up two in Eternity, which looks a little bit like these. Can you see that? Really, really love this one. And then I picked up my favorite one for a more bolder, dramatic, but they're lovely. They're soft. They're really good to the touch. My favorite one is uh, Tiffany, which I already have a couple upstairs in uh, the beauty slash office. Like the beauty room slash office. <laughs> I really love these for when I'm going out, especially at night or whatever, because these are the ones that I'm wearing in this video here. I'll show you the video. See it? When I'm like taking off the yeah, yeah, I'm wearing the Tiffany lashes, so really, really nice. Um, as per usual, I'm a big fan of Gynagod. Why I picked up the darker one to the lighter one, I really don't know. And I won't even tell you if there is a difference here. I mean, it just randomly does that. Can you imagine how frustrated I would be if I was actually recording a sit-down video today? Jeez. Um, everyday pH balance. <laughs> they, they just do the same thing, okay? And I just picked up extras of Fresh Musk. This is my favorite scent. I feel like Nivea should sponsor me. Oh my God. Nivea should sponsor me. Somebody please talk to Nivea to sponsor me because, hello, most of the things I've shown you here are from Nivea. But this is my favorite scent from Nivea. This one. I uh, love it. Fresh Musk. I really love the antiperspirant. I really love that. And then the deodorant as well. The problem is the rollerball. The problem is with this one, I tend to feel like I sweat a lot quicker during the day. Something about just going shh, but I sweat quite a bit, like literally sweat, like sweat drips down. It's not smelly sweat or anything like that. It still smells all right. I just really love the scent in this uh, thing. But this, I don't. I don't get the sweat sweat dripping down it's really really weird but i use them both anyway um i feel like in winter i'm not gonna struggle much with that issue but i don't know we'll see and then i picked up a new um bottle of the la roche posay cero zinc um cleansing sulfate solution cleansing and soothing sulfate solution i that's what it looks like. I really, really enjoy this one after a shower in the morning, just before I apply my um, 
creams and skincare for the day i really just or after i have uh taken off my makeup at the end of the day this is going to sit in my bathroom after i've taken off my makeup at the end of the day i really love to just wash my face cleanse my face and then last step love it love it then i come with the creams and stuff really really love it i've loved this for years and i keep repurchasing it and i feel like it's worked i mean for me with a lot of the facial sprays and oils no facial sprays and such this one has topped all of them so i really really like it and you can actually use that one as a toning process as well so if you don't want to tone with the liquid and like uh um a, a piece of cotton or whatever you can also use that step as a toning step works works wonders works wonders and then colgate colgate uh my favorite one and i think i've spoken about this colgate before sometime on my channel this is the sensitive pro relief this this was uh recommended to me by my dentist I have very, very, very sensitive teeth, but I've been using this for about three years now or four years now, even longer and never had an issue. I can eat, I can even like break ice, like <laughs> bite down into ice, break ice, bite down into ice and I'm fine. Hmm. Then um, I went over to the healthy, healthy food section and I am trying to eat clean now, so even with my pastas, because I do enjoy pasta, I'm trying to eat clean with the pasta. This is the pasta that I used in the vegan TikTok pasta with the feta cheese whatever video. It's also in a vlog. This is the pasta that I used. That's what it looks like. Love, love, love this pasta. It's great. It is absolutely great. I love it. And then, of course, I picked up some... Uh, bulgur wheat as well from nature's choice you guys know i love nature's choice i've worked with them before really really loved that and also another brand that should sponsor me okay i use two different types of honey from them two 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 uh picked up some raw honey raw honey of course i've said this before it is much better than the already processed honey the one that looks golden and is easier to raw honey is much better it's not as sweet that's why i use it in my coffee um yeah that's that one there um in the last two weeks or so i have read three books one i listened to on any play and this is the book it's called the four winds by Kristen hannah it's a historical romance a really really good book uh i used this book to, I would listen to it when I was driving to and from work, to and from the gym, to and from wherever. I literally wasn't listening to 702. Really, really love it. Set in the 1920s or 30s. It's a historical romance in the uh, Depression era. And it just follows this family, uh, Rafe, um, uh, Elsa, and their children as they struggle through the Great Depression. They have like the really good years. Um, where everything is going well and then uh, the Great Depression hits and uh, crops die and they are farmers and all of that and crops die and this and that and the other. It essentially follows the family, the family dynamics uh, between mother and daughter, between husband and wife, um, between the kids as well. It's a really, really good uh, book that follows their lives um, and the decisions that they make and how the decisions they make fundamentally alter the their relationships with one another and how those things change things it's a really good book <clears throat> very long i think it's about on the on any play it's about 50 chapters and in the book i think it's about 400 between 400 and 500 pages and that's pretty long for me and then after that i read this i read his only wife which i mentioned in my previous vlog and I finished this within two or three days. Really good book. Um, this follows the life of Afi, who is set up to marry a, a wealthy young man, Elikem. And the first line of the book says, Elikem was in absentia for his own wife. Elikem married me in absentia. He did not come to our wedding. I mean, that's a brilliant first liner. 
So he didn't come to his wedding with Afi. And um, essentially this was an arranged marriage, which was planned by Ellie Kim's mother. And the reason why, I'm, I'm just going to continue. And the reason why she planned this marriage is because um, Ellie Kim has, they're trying to, I don't know if I, wait, wait. Okay, I was about to, I was about to drop a spoiler. So, essentially just follows El, um, Afi's life, marrying into this wealthy family, and then trying to change the circumstances of what is currently happening, but also at the same time dealing with her own family and how um, their expectations of her now that she's married into a wealthy family and her family is uh, on the poorer side. It's a good book. It's a 5 out of 5. I loved this one. I loved Kristen Hanna, 5 out of 5 as well. And then the last one that I read, which I finished this morning, and I started it about three days ago as well, is Shop Objects by Gillian Flynn. Now, if you were a fan of Gone Girl, wow, wow, I just, I don't know what must to can happen. Um, if you were a fan of Gone Girl, the movie, or the book, this is the same author, this is Gillian Flynn, and this is Sharp Objects. This was her first um, novel, and it follows the life of Camille Preacher. And Camille Preacher is a journalist for a small um, Chicago newspaper, and uh, her boss instructs her to go back to her hometown to follow a particular story, um, a murder basically uh there is a girl who has died in the town and her boss wants her to follow that story because she's familiar with the town her family is still there and she grew up in this town but this book is really creepy there are so many trigger warnings for and i'm going to tell you what the trigger warnings are just in case just don't pick it up it's really really creepy it's a psychological thriller it the one twist at the end had me like, oh, I thought I had it, and then I was completely wrong. <laughs> I was completely wrong. Um, drug abuse, substance abuse, uh, cutting, um, uh, like cutting, like cutting, 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 right? Um, oh my God. Uh, Munchausen by proxy. If you don't like to read about things like that, just don't get this book. There's just a whole lot of stuff. But if you're hard, like me, pick up this book. It's another 5 out of 5. I've been really, really fortunate with these books. So, yeah. Uh, then I went up. This was an impulse buy. These two were impulse buys, but I felt like after the hard week I'd had, and after the amount of money that I spent getting my laptop, I felt like I deserve to treat myself because that laptop was not treating myself. Trust me, I would not spend the amount of money that I did to treat myself on a laptop. Nah, this kind of stuff is treating myself. So because I loved A Family Affair by Sunyati so much, I picked up her first, I think this was her first novel. Or was it her second one? Was it Gold Diggers first and then The Polygamist? I think this was the first one. I think this was the first one. Yep, debut novel. Yep. So this is The Polygamist by Sunyati. Love this cover. Um, this gent. It follows the tale of four women whose lives become intertwined when they all fall for wealthy banking magnet Jonas Janassi. Janassi. Seemingly in, <laughs> wow, indomitable and oozing money, power, and sex appeal, Jonasi is about to com complicate all their lives forever. Yes, this is what I want to start with, probably not today, because I'm going out later, but probably tomorrow, and it's really, really short. It's like 190 pages. can probably finish it within a day or two, so fantastic and then this one i went crazy for this cover i went crazy for this cover this and i kept on seeing it every time i would go into exclusive books and just not pick it up just not pick it up um and then it came down in price because when it first uh came out i think it was like 380 something and now it came down like about 100 bucks 
not much, but it came down. Um, and also the reason why I picked it up was because I had points. That she tells you. Exclusive books doesn't give out points very easily. Uh, I had points again, money off on, uh, I think I had about 250 off or something. So that also prompted me to pick up another book. I was literally going to just pick up this one. Um, so I got book, which is Ties That Tether by Jane Igaro. Jane Igaro is a, can, uh, is a Canadian, is a Nigerian author who then emigrated to Canada at the age of 12. But I picked this book up because <laughs> I picked this book up because of that insane cover. Look at that cover. Look at that cover. Um, and yeah, this one follows. Uh, it just essentially says when a Nigerian woman falls for a man she knows will break her mother's heart. She must choose between love and family. Excited. Excited. So these are my next two reads, I think. Yeah. Because I just read a thriller, definitely something lighter. And that's about it. I need to pack up this mess right here, eat my oranges, and I'll probably check in with you guys a little bit later before I head out. Okay, bye. Do you guys still take your vitamins? Hmm? 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 Or are you guys like, I. Corona is not that stress no more. We're getting vaccinated. Do you guys still take your vitamins? Hmm? Or are you now not taking your life seriously anymore? Hmm? Hmm? Now you feel like, ah, this vaccination is over, right? Hmm? Hmm? I want to know, do you take them or not? Hmm? Because you must. What's a good orange? It's not too sweet. It's not too sweet, but it's good. It's good. It's not sour either. It's good. Uh, let us see. Who is asking all these questions? Yeah. So, <laughs> so I recently started dating. <laughs> Yay! Ay, 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 ay. It's a mess. It's a whole entire mess, guys. Gents, girls, gents. Ay. Mm -mm. The dating pool vastly shrinks the older you get. Because, mm mm. It's either they're crazy, it's either they've got big heads, all they want to talk about is how much money they've made, where they've traveled. <laughs> I was actually talking to Figile the other day. She's got a channel here, uh, Figili Mabilisa. She's got a channel here on YouTube. I think you should give her a follow. I was talking to her the other day and I was thinking, maybe I should do like a dating series kind of, you know, like a, a bunch of videos about, you know, my dating experience. You know, what I go through every time I go on a date. Because <laughs> I've gone on a couple and I... I <laughs> mm 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 I think I'm, I'm quite comfortable with staying single for a while, eh? What? I can't. My problem go how can I the chips? Where must I go? How about the chips? Where? Where am I going to go? The chips in case you don't know, ke 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 kim dengereng, kim tavas. Okay, the girls always got options from dengereng, guys. I'm lying about that, but I'm just saying, dating. Shoo! Hey, hey! I went on a date, guys. I'm not gonna give details, Shem. Too much details. But I went on a date. I was looking so fresh. I had like a mesh bodysuit on with a cute little bralette underneath. Like a cute little bra underneath. A sexy Nana one because the bodysuit is mesh, so you're trying to have a, a, a nice bra underneath, right? Black. Everything's black. 
uh, jeans are black, belt I had on was black. Only thing of color was my lips and my lips were like red. And uh, black shoes. Gore, he didn't even compliment me to say, yo, you look so pretty. He said nothing, nothing. And he started going on about his friends and the money they spend. <laughs> and traveling and Lona. He's like, yeah, if you haven't been to such and such a place, I think you should go. I'm like, he was talking about Zanzibar. He's like, if you haven't been to Zanzibar, Tanzania, I think you should go. You'd really like it. I'm like, what makes you think I haven't been? <laughs> I fucking hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Anyway, um, I don't know what else I'm going to do. My cut this vlog short. It'll be just like a today. Ooh. Ooh. I had a little bit of the skip. Ooh. Mm. It might just be a today vlog because uh, that sit down part was quite long. But I am kind of getting back into action, chaps. Okay. Just give me a little bit of time. But uh, I am getting back into action. And. Um, it's gonna be a good time. It's gonna be a good time. It's a new day, I'm sorry. Uh, from the clip that you saw yesterday of me reading <laughs> this book in bed i finished it i read it for a couple of hours yesterday and then i was busy i couldn't read it again and then i finished it off this morning it really isn't that long <laughs> i'll get into that i wanted to close off this vlog talking about this book this is the polygamous by sunyati oh my god what i talk about entertainment in a book I feel like this book had me picturing all the characters, had me visualizing each and every moment, had me seeing everything. Um, I can't talk for long because I do want to, I have to do my makeup. Uh, I'm going out for lunch with my sister and she's going to be picking me up in an hour. So I need to do all of that. But I just wanted to talk to you for a few minutes about this book. Not a few minutes, like two minutes. Great book follows uh <laughs> the life of jonasi who is a polygamist here 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 he is and on the inside of the cover you can see that there's women here there's one woman here i think yeah there's one woman here and then there's women here as well he's a polygamist and he's attached to four other women and it's insane it's just insane. It follows his life. He's a rich kind of, you know, um, uh, he owns banks and things like that. So he's very wealthy. And then he's got his first wife. And then he's got many other women attached there. Uh, the story, very entertaining. I don't want to talk about it too much because I feel like it is such a short book. You can literally knock this out in a day. It's like 200 pages, 193 pages. So it really isn't that long. But the dynamics of the wives, finding out about the wives and the girlfriends and this and this, the things that happen all because he is a wealthy and powerful man and pretty much can have whatever and whomever he wants. So that's how he's living his life. And um, a lot of things just happen. You know, he's got three wives. Um, and this is not a spoiler because it is on the back of the book. He's got three wives. Uh, yeah, some of which know about the others and all that. It's just, it's crazy. And there's a girlfriend. It's just a lot. It's a lot. But it is so interesting. I have never felt a wave of emotions 
so many different conflicting emotions from one book. I was angry. I was boiling with anger. I was just the heart wrenching sadness that came from this book as well. Um, uh, 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 the laughter, the moments where I would just pack out laughing, the the anger. I literally at some point threw my book across the table, across the room, because I was so upset at what I was reading. Um, yeah, but it's really, really entertaining. I highly suggest you pick it up. It's by Sunyati, the author of A Family Affair. I've spoken about A Family Affair on this channel before, but I also want to pick up Gold Diggers next because I did want to pick it up, but I picked up another book, uh, which I'm sure you've seen by now which one it is. And um, definitely going to be picking up Gold Diggers next. Sunyati is a phenomenal writer. And you can tell the progression in her writing from the polygamous to a family affair like a family affair is much more uh, dense there's a whole lot of um but the writing is different you can tell you can tell this was really really easy to get through it was really quick but the the um, and when i say the writing is different it's just evolved and you can tell from this book which was her debut novel to a family affair but also um there's a lot of very, 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 very uh, uh, difficult and sensitive topics in this book. So if you're somebody who is triggered by rape, if you are triggered by abuse, if you are triggered by... I don't know. There's just quite a few things, but substance abuse, physical abuse, emotional abuse. If you're triggered by things like that easily, I don't, I don't recommend you read this book because moments where I flung my book across the room was one of the abusive scenes in this book, which was terrible to read. It was, the book isn't terrible, but that was really, really heart wrenching for me to read. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go this book five out of five, and this is my 12th book for the year. And we are currently on the 26th of April. So I'm, I'm, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. My, my goal is 30, between 35 and 39 books. I don't remember where, where I ended up on or where I landed on, but I really want to get those done by the end of the year. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much it for this vlog. I hope you guys enjoy it. Yeah. I'll, I'm gonna go. I'll see you guys. Great, great book. Great book. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Please subscribe. Please subscribe. Please subscribe. We are approaching my birthday, which is in June. And I would really like to get to 20,000 subscribers in June because I want to do a massive giveaway in June for 20,000 subscribers. But if we don't get there, I, I don't know. I actually don't even I, I I'm 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 literally setting myself up for June. I don't know. If if I can't get to twenty thousand subscribers by June, guys, I, I really just I don't know what, what the point of it all is. Just please just subscribe. Share the channel, talk about the channel, tell your friends and your family members and all the people to subscribe. Please, please, please subscribe on your parents' devices. Subscribe on whoever's there. Just subscribe, please. Just please subscribe. Okay, I'm gonna go. See you in the next video. Bye.